everyone. Today we are going to have a look at Scrammly Review 2021. How accurate is Scrammly? So in fact, there are a lot of mistakes here. So each sentence contains one mistake and we have many sentences. I'm going to choose 100 inside this uh, exhaustive list and then I'm going to paste it in the Grammarly editor. Furthermore, I actually have done something that is interesting. That is to pull up some second opinion proofreaders to see where the Grammarly can catch most of the mistakes. You know, sometimes I might make some mistakes and maybe that sentence doesn't contain any mistakes and I accidentally put into the list too. So maybe we can have a look at second opinions to make it even fairer and you can have a look at how Grammarly compares with other types of proofreaders. And a while back ago, which is just yesterday, I actually made this video and this video was actually ranking quite well in YouTube and this is related to Grammarly versus Pro Writing Aid. So if you want to see some comparison between Grammarly and other proofreading software, make sure you subscribe and check out this video that is on the screen on the top right hand corner right now. So without further ado, let's try and copy and paste all of uh, some of most of this. So maybe we go from 135 uh, to 30, yeah, something like this. There, I think there should be a hundred paragraphs, right? Yeah, a hundred paragraphs means that a hundred mistakes. So I'm going to put it in a fast forward mode so that you don't have to sit for an hour or whatever it takes to complete the test. The test is finally complete and we can see that there are quite a number of misses of uh, by Grammarly so they cannot catch some of the mistakes. I'm going to double check and also calculate the accuracy now. So a lot of times uh, why is it wrong is that Grammarly already picked up the incorrect parts but didn't give a correct suggestion so yeah. Okay, so the accuracy has been calculated and we can find that the accuracy is 55. So on to the second opinion scan, as we can see in providing aid, it seems that there are real-time 176 mistakes, but most of them are actually just related to these. After overall scanning and I have actually seen the mistakes made by, are like mistakes that could be caught by providing aid, they also can be caught by Grammarly, so I think that Grammarly seems to be outperforming providing aid, so yeah, compared to other providers, Gremlin seems to be very nice and if we just go and have a look at ginger proofreader maybe 
I can directly copy some of the mistakes that Grammarly cannot catch and see whether Ginger can catch. So, yeah. We can see that the grammar mistake asks us to find change it into guess. Great! So, as we can see, Ginger can actually catch this one. So, that means that it is uh, Grammarly's problem. I think uh, it actually didn't notice that let's, okay, should be following some guess. Okay, this is a bad infinitive.